right, guys, this is Full Circle with Joyce. Relationship Tuesday here on the show today. And like I did mention in the beginning, we are talking about love and relationships in the 21st, not in the 21st century, rather, but in the age of social media. And last night I did tweet about this and ask you guys, you know, what your thoughts and opinions are. And hopefully some of you are tuned in. Uh, Esther 30, you responded to my tweet saying, lovely, I cannot miss Full Circle with Joyce. Uh, Gina Ashimoshi Ashi, you said, beautiful, looking forward to listening. Asante Sana for that. And to all of you else who are uh, preparing in your comments and your feedback, your questions on this, do let us know. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. You can also reach us on our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya and on Twitter as well at Switch TV Kenya. You can also tweet me at Joyce Omondi and I'll try and get to those as well. But with that said, my very first guest of the day to tackle this topic is Benjamin Zulu. Karibu sana to the show. Asante sana, yes. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> all right. So, you know, putting your relationship um, all over social media seems to be becoming the norm nowadays. It's like that is the new way to either make money or become famous, you know. It's but it's it's also quite risky, mm -hmm. you know, because relationships are very um, personal. Mm -hmm. So, from your standpoint as a psychologist, mm. does that worry you at all when you see people putting a lot of themselves out on social media, their family, their husband, their wife, their kids? Does that worry you? Does that speak to something else? I worry about the person doing it. Mm. Because one, we have two types of attachment. I mentioned the other time, but actually we have four, but I'll just discuss like two. We have a one called avoidant attachment. When you are young, you developed a natural way of forming relationships, mm -hmm. emotionally bonding with people. So there are people who are avoidant by nature. Uh, that is their, their default. Then we have another one called anxious, anxious attachment. Mm -hmm. So these people, uh, Utapata, throughout life, this person is reluctant to display what is happening in their lives because they are naturally avoidant. Uh, they want more private, more closed in. So that's the person I don't expect to be sharing a lot of their relationship uh, on social media. Then we have the one who is anxious on the other extreme. The one who is anxious is sometimes questioning the depth, the stability, the security of, of, the, the relationship. of their relationship. Okay. So many times they are posting, not from a healthy point, but trying to get validation from outside, getting likes and comments. And sometimes they're trying to assert what they already suspect does not exist. Mm. The authenticity, mm. the real love, the permanence, the stability. Mm -hmm. They're trying to show people, look at how much in love we are. Those people in everywhere, they tag, they tag their partner. They tag, you know, tagging where they, and all that. I'm with this one, so they're taking, you know, say, you know, this is how love should look like. It's, it's us. This is a problem. A healthy attached person will have appreciation. They'll appreciate their partner. They'll not keep them hidden or deny that they're in a relationship. Mm. Occasionally, you see them appreciating their partner online. So let's differentiate between appreciating your right. partner in a healthy way. Right. On the other hand, we have overcompensating, looking for validation, mm. trying to prove something, you know, trying to draw. It's like going to my wall because you're my girlfriend and commenting everything. When I'm asked questions, you answer on my behalf. Mm. It's like you're telling everybody, like, yeah. this guy is taken, yeah. this guy is mine. And sometimes you're not even married, just a relationship. Yeah. So for me, when I see that, I know this person, there's something not right. Mm. And wakati ni kona wewe na tuna share mail and you're busy taking pics to share, it's like you don't have time for the real relationship. Yeah, it's all what you're going to post. Yes. Mm. So if you're always distracted. In my practice, when I see couples uh, in my counseling practice, most the other partner will be complaining that not just because you are sharing everything from the food we are taking to where we went to the trip we took to the uh, Uber we were in and every place <laughs> we were in and all that, but also I don't have time. You don't have time for me. You're always on your phone. Right. Let me assure you, you need a relationship that is happening on earth, not just online. Yeah. In real life, yeah. when you are busy connecting, talking the way we are talking, you will not have time to snap every moment. Mm -hmm. To snap every mm -hmm. uh, snaps are there. We'll take at the end of the show probably, but that's not we, what we came here for. And every moment you have to pause and take a selfie. Mm. So too much snapping, too much sharing shows that you are actually not committed. You're not involving. You're not putting the attention in the person. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What do you guys think about this topic? Again, like I did mention, we we're talking about love and relationships in the age of social media. And do you agree with that statement here by Benjamin Zulu that, you know, this oversharing of 
uh, relationships on social media is actually a signal that something is quite off in the relationship. Maybe you're compensating for overcompensating for something. But indeed, the question that we're asking you today, are relationships better online or offline? Do SMS and double two triple nine is the SMS line. You can also give us your feedback on Facebook and Twitter at Switch TV K Kenya and on Instagram at Switch TV KE, as well as at Joyce Omondi. Uh, and we'd be happy to read those out for you. Now, You've already touched on some of these effects, right? Mm -hmm. But let's dive deeper into the effects of oversharing on social media, particularly when it comes to these people that you really love and care about. Let's, let's, let's start here by saying that uh, I have always warned young people, before this relationship reaches a place where you are sure you have a future, don't broadcast this person too much because you are saying you are taken from the market. You just imagine you're just having a boyfriend then, and then you have put him everywhere and then one day he leaves you. Mm. So will you come back and say, hey guys, the guy I was posting is no longer here so now I'm open for... <laughs> <laughs> you will not do that. Yeah. So I tell, especially ladies, be very careful. The society is twisted against, is tilted against ladies. Mm. Because although we can shop for you, you can't shop for us. <laughs> okay. And if you have an inquirer, okay, I'm asking for prices in your life and now you are broadcasting that you're already taken, then he doesn't buy, he just quits. How will you come back? Yeah. I tell people, go slow. When I was dating, I was telling my girlfriend that you don't need to change anything in your relationship status until I put a ring on your finger. Right. Things can change that money. What's any pressure? Things can change that money. Hey, by the way, is that thing still big? Is that still big? You know, changing your relationship status. Hey, relationship. <laughs> Things can <laughs> That's <laughs> Things do happen. <laughs> Things do happen. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, uh, I came to change it l way later and I don't put, I don't like the way Facebook puts it like a post, right, got right. married <laughs> or got in a relationship. Yeah. So I made it in a way that, yes, yeah, it's there, but it does not have to be an announcement. Right. The people who matter came to wedding. That's true. The people who matter were there in pre-wedding were walked with me. Those are the guys who matter. These others are fans. Right. But what do you say to this? Okay, so there's, you, you know, every human being, there's a measure of wanting to be appreciated, right? That's part of our love languages. Yeah. Every, it's it, maybe even a need, you yeah. could say, of human beings to feel appreciated. And so we've said that, you know, that oversharing bit for sure, I, I, I tend to agree with you. I just think it's not <laughs> best for the relationship. But then you also want to know that your partner is proud of you, is willing to show you off to the world. They just, you know, with caution. But then there are those ones, yani, wana fichwa. <laughs> um, is that okay? Because you one, see a lot of ladies yes. complain that their, their men maybe don't, it's like no one even knows they're dating and they've been together for three years. Now that's a problem. We, we started by saying you, everybody needs to be appreciated. Mm -hmm. And occasionally, during, especially like during Mother's Day, I'm celebrating my wife on my wall. Yeah. Putting out there, hey, this is, uh, you know, the mother of my future children, right. <laughs> you know, this is a woman in my life. Yeah. You need to know that you are appreciated and you're not hidden, you're not a secret. If a person is deliberately keeping off, it means maybe they're hiding something. Mm. But we are saying, um, we, it's not only social media through which you can appreciate people. Mm -hmm. Many times you realize that even if I post you as my girlfriend and put pictures there, compare that versus taking you out for a cup of coffee or bringing you a flower or having a good evening quality time. Ladies prefer this one, which is real life, mm. <laughs> than just posting things and saying, this is a girl. You know, social media can only show pictures and words. How far will that take you? Mm -hmm. How about I take, we just have good time, laugh, enjoy it. Whether we post it or we don't, real life is happening in reality. Yeah. And not all pictures. Remember, the problem is social media, you only post highlights. That's true. You only post the things that you want people to see. Even if we are just quarreled and you start taking a selfie, we have to fake a smile. Mm. We don't take us when we are calling and post it. Mm -hmm. The problem of oversharing is you create an image on social media that you have to maintain. That's true. That we are this happy always. When it's not actually true. Absolutely. And we mentioned the other time that it pushes you to compare your, your, your low moments with other people's high moments because they're the ones that are sharing on social media. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me get to some of the feedback that we have coming in. Liam Hesbon says, it's actually okay to have it on social media, but do not exceed it. Actually, it signals how desperate or insecure you are. It will kill you in case muachane. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have it low key. Asante sana for that. Um, 
Kenny vibes uh, you say to Kopamoja sana asante Mwangi Carol says no no let your relationship be private again that's on our Facebook post they're asking would you share your relationship on social media do let us know should it be online or offline and I believe I do have uh, an SMS here hey Joy Stanley Kamau uh, watching us from Kitengela you say Kamakawa this is your morning show thank you so much for tuning in for being a part um wow so when we talk about then sort of how do you the balance how do you actually figure out that balance you're saying it's okay to celebrate you know your loved ones maybe on a special occasion right mm -hmm. but um how do you sort of draw that line mm -hmm. between this is too much should it be a conversation with your partner because you've mentioned that there are some people who they'll say ah, you're always sharing our business should that be a conversation with with your partner or with your spouse there should be a mutual understanding sometimes it will not need to talk too much you'll have learned me how much yeah. of publicity i like yeah. me i'm a very public figure so i share a lot of stuff but my personal life is very private mm -hmm. i on mother's day i put i put up my wife there i'm celebrating her and people commented but by the following day i pulled it down mm. because i it has served the purpose wow the communication was so intimate this is not something i want to keep displayed yeah <laughs> this is very personal yeah I'm very happy. So the, the thing is, let there be a mutual understanding. Personalities are different. If you're introverted and if I'm extroverted, if you're private, more public and so, social, so to speak, mm -hmm. does not mean either I'm cheap or insecure necessarily, right. but you're saying, let there be a mutual understanding. Right. If generally you are, you are very social, there will also be a lot of sociability and all that, but mm -hmm. can our private life also be safeguarded? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to be talking about digital intimacy versus actual intimacy. social media. Then you can't even cut your baby in person. <laughs> we're going to be talking about that when we come back from the break. Do stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. Hey there, welcome back to Full Circle with Joy. So happy to have your company with me this morning as we talk about Relationship Tuesday here on the show. We've been talking about love and relationships in the age of social media. Benjamin Zulu is my guest and uh, we're going to carry on from where we left off uh, just before the break. And uh, if you're just joining us, Karibuni Sana. Again, the SMS line is double two triple nine. You can give us your feedback on this comment, on this topic as far as whether relationships should be online or offline. Would you post your relationship very publicly on social media? Do let us know. Again, double two triple nine is the SMS line. Now, Benjamin, let's talk about the ways in which social media is actually changing relationships. And we can first start with um, intimacy, I think, or just... Mm love and affection let's call it affection yeah uh, before i get to some of the sms's but i think there are cases where people can talk so lavishly so flowery about their spouses you know all this romance on social media they're just like where but then you find that the person who is supposed to be on the receiving end of this even them it's like a shocker like oh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's me, it's me, it's me. Because they don't actually have that sort of relationship. I they don't actually get that. I hear that so often. Uh, couples come and the man is doing a lot of flowery, flamboyant introduction. That's, yes, about the wife. Yeah. Talking to me about the wife. Uh -huh. And then they do the same on social media. Oh, this is my, they give a lot of titles and all that. But the wife is telling, I don't see that in our relationship. Right. So let's, we started by saying that social media does not allow seasons. It is demanding and peak throughout. Mm. Peak. We are always happy. Yet relationships are not seasonal, but they have their highs and their lows. Yes. And, 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 and the, the thing is, um, one day my wife asked me, when you were dating, you used to sing me songs. Now I don't hear those. I thought hey, I was, Benjamin. I thought I, I, was, I, thought I, was, <laughs> I can see. Hi, yeah. By the way, I, I saw a quote that I like. Just because I, 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 I don't have a voice does not mean I cannot sing. <laughs> <laughs> so she asked me, I thought I was marrying a musician. Oh, Where did no. the songs go? Nikamwambia, tofautisha wakati wa campaign. Na wakati wa performance. I manage to imba. Those oh, days no. I was campaigning. Sikuizi na zindua miradi. Haki jameni, oi. You know, okay. <laughs> Nowadays I can sing, but look at what I'm doing. Those right. days I did not have a chance to 
do things. <laughs> now look at what I'm doing. Right. I can do but not as much singing. <laughs> if I continue just making noise, eh? that's the problem in social media. Every right. time you're just campaigning. But are you performing? Yeah. I'll be happy if men are posting things about what they have done for the wife. Mm. Not just words. Oh, this is my angel. This is yeah. my this. But you're treating her like a demon in the house. It's true. You're quiet. And you, you know what's even better is if your wife is the one who's saying, saying it. that you're the one who's done it. Or your, your, your ladies, your, 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 your boyfriend, your husband, you know, saying that you've been this sort of woman. Yes. Not just you being like, I'm a queen and I do this. And, I and do because that. it's her birthday and you have to post something, you cook up things that yeah. don't, don't align with reality. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's very important we say that. D let's not allow social media uh, to, to, to force us to say things that are not true. True. Absolutely. Put more effort in doing things in real life. Okay. Yeah. I think we're going to touch on that. And in a bit, we're also going to look at the pressure for j just like a lavish relationship. That sort of seems to be the norm nowadays. But before we get to that, let me get to a few SMSs here. Um, someone says, hello, Joyce. True love is based on, I guess, personal relationship. I think social media platform is not appropriate for love expression. Good morning, Joyce. Um, Lily from Eldorit watching us. You say relationship offline is the best because as much as your relationship is working, some are struggling. So for me, just mute. Build your inner relationship with your partner instead. Um, hey, Joyce, looking beautiful. Asante Sana for that. My, for me, relationships should not be made public because when things get worse, you end up wishing that you were private about it. That's Christine watching us from Kisi. And I think that's an interesting sort of jumping off point for us as we talk about the sort of way in which we talk a lot about um, couple goals. And sometimes it's not even about the essence of the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's about what the couple is doing. Yeah. Right. So they're traveling all over the place. We're seeing all these really lavish proposals on social media. Uh, people even, you know, sending camera crews with them to their honeymoon. Like mm -hmm. what? <laughs> What are you doing? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, but talk to us about how that too is changing relationships. Because what you have to do boy child, you know what I mean? Yeah. That if you don't match up to what I saw mm -hmm. Nani being given on social media, yeah. you're almost questioning him as a man and yeah. his ability to provide. Yeah. And then uh, we're the same ones to complain that there are no good men around. <laughs> Thank you, because your definition of good is off. Yeah. <laughs> Part of what I tell brothers is, don't feel the pressure. Many of them ask me, man, I marry this girl. I mean, I love this girl. I want to be that for life. But this, the requirement she has of me, she keeps seeing what other guys are doing and she wants us to do the same. And mm. I say we are in, at a different place in life. We are at a different place in life. We need more and all that. So part of what we need to say is this. Although people portray what they are doing, sometimes it's not real. It's exaggerated. They don't show you what it is costing them. Some people go into debt and need right. to crisis to put up an image. And there comes a time to take, uh, to take social media holiday. And let's say this, Joyce. Mm. You should not make your social media presence all about one thing. Can mm. you post about other things? Your work life. Let there be. You should have an identity that is separate from your relationship. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, look for passion, the thing you love in life. Today, tell us about your workplace, the thing you're experiencing and all that. Talk about the sad, the low moments of your life. Right. That will minister to, that will help more people. Mm -hmm. So we should resist the pressure to always look like we are, we are this happy. Yeah. We are always doing this well. Sometimes share your down moments. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on my page, I realized the, uh, my page, Benjamin Zulu, I like many times when I share things, it's the things that I, I talk out of pain, out of struggles mm. that touch people the most. So let's yeah. encourage people to also share the, the lessons from the lower moments of life. Right, right. Yeah. So is that one, I mean, so then as we wrap up, is there a way that social media can actually benefit a relationship, in your opinion? If you use social media to learn. Now, like you're saying, these low moments or hearing about how someone has yes. overcome a struggle in a relationship. Connecting with people who are where you, you are in life. Mm -hmm. I love social media. Through it, I, I met many people who are important to me. Yeah. It's about how you use it. Social media is just like life. It's about the people you pick to connect with. Mm -hmm. It's about the places you visit when you're there. It's about how you take it. You're not using it to compensate for your low self-esteem. Yeah. You're here to learn and connect and grow and relax. If you use it in a healthy way, social media is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would rather when we have it than when we don't. Absolutely. Yeah. Benjamin, thank you so much for coming. Let me read some feedback here as we get ready to wrap up this segment. Um, <clears throat> Bell. K 
Carol says personally, I would not. Social media in laws who sumbua sana, girl. <laughs> and yeah, you know, on, on social media, everybody now claims to be your, your, your in law, and they're always going to be giving you information and, you know, telling you advice about your relationships. Nasayata, maybe their own are not working. So, good point there. Um, Aleki Eric says, hey Joyce, tuned in from Rai. I can't take a lover from social media because in men we look at characters. How will I know her character in social media that's taking someone behind the tent? All right, so you're talking about even finding someone on social media. And maybe that's a topic we can tackle another day. Mm -hmm. Dam G says, uh, always tuned. Jara Teng says, haha, I love the way you've said Angoa. <laughs> You say, say it again. Angoa. <laughs> anyway, everything I do for me, it's not for the net. Thank you very much for that. Let me get to some final comments here on SMS. Hey, Joyce, loving the show. Um, and for most of the time, people discourage others. And so an offline relationship is best. Hello, Joyce. I'm Irene, tuned in from Mombasa. I think relationships should be out of social media because you need privacy. And again, you're not there to show off your relationship. Keep it private. The way you keep your bedroom matters private. Um, thank you very much for that, guys. Thank you to all of you who've sent in your feedback and your comments on this topic. It sounds like most of you uh, would not be putting your relationships out there. And uh, it sounds like for good reason. And I hope through this discussion. Can I mention how they can get in touch with me? Yeah, absolutely. My Facebook page is Benjamin Zulu. Benjamin Zulu Facebook. And then uh, Instagram and Twitter is Zulu Benjamin Zero. Zulu, Zulu Benjamin ben Zero. That's Instagram and Twitter. And all also right. Gmail is also Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being a part, Benjamin. <laughs>